here in the Business Insurance Zone with me, Steve Savant, National Insurance Columnist and Financial Color Commentator. And today on The Biz, is the media impacting risk management or is risk management impacting the media? It's all part of our investment risk management series here today on The Biz. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Well, welcome everyone to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm your host, Steve Savant. We're broadcasting live to a nationwide audience of financial advisors right here in Fountain Hills, Arizona, home of America's largest fountain. And with me for day four, Mark Langerman. Mark, we're having a ball here. I know. Steve, I thanks. mean, four days. We're, we're in the fourth day, and of course, it's Mark so much will be fun. With us. I it haven't is? even left and changed my clothes. I mean, uh, I, I, you know, know. I, I can't leave. This is great. Thank you, guys. You. You all, some of you guys know. I, you know, I mean, I don't want to get the uh, email about Steve never changes his clothes on the show. <laughs> we have. Well, we don't get paid enough. You know, we just don't get paid enough. Our, right. we're, we're, I guess our and revenue is the just dry too cleaning, small. Yeah. Let me talk about this because this is a media issue on risk management. You know, right. if the media goes out there and goes negative on something. Man, I see stocks go down, right. right? I mean, and it could be uncoordinated information, and they just put it out there as part of maybe it is, maybe it isn't, especially when they do maybe it is. But I've noticed that the media has picked up on your issue of tariff-free investing. I mean, you have been on Fox News. I'm talking the nationwide. You've been on the local channel yeah. here in Phoenix. But what, how did that even occur? Because this is huge for your practice. Oh, it's huge. So how did it even, how did it even evolve to get to that side of it? Yeah, it's very topical. People hear about it. I mean, there's a few calls I've made mm -hmm. out naturally, but it's a tough balance because then you seem kind of self-serving, but it's mm -hmm. also newsworthy. So mm -hmm. that that's, you know, we do that. But then we've had a lot of calls to, you know, do interviews, mm -hmm. uh, television, print, radio. Mm -hmm. I've done quite a few radio interviews and Fox was obviously, we did Fox uh, National twice. Twice. Yeah, Sunday now, morning with Shannon Bream. Now, when you did the Fox, and by the way, it's, it, these, these interviews, are they on your site? They're on our website at www.patriotfund.com. So if you want to go out to www.patriotfund.com, you can watch these interviews, both, both, on the, both Fox uh, All interviews. the Fox interviews and, and the other interviews we've done. You said something very important. A lot of because you know you you might you had made a call. Hey, listen, we have an interesting idea here. I'm yeah. going to go to a local news channel. They're going to go like you and everybody else, right? Right. So you must use. But you said that word that I love. It was newsworthy. Yeah. And I think that's one of our media issues when we're trying to market our practice. Like you've marketed your practice. Sure. We have to figure out what is newsworthy. If we're going to get on a local channel, it has to be something that's worthy of the attention of the normal public. Yeah. How did you do that? Well, I, I, sometimes I wish I had uh, you know more hours in the day so I could work with clients, get new clients, and and try and get out there mm -hmm. uh, uh, and get more media. It's 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 so topical mm -hmm. that I I had an interview. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is. Part of the operating profits of the mutual fund, the Patriot Fund, uh, go to support uh, two really great organizations, mm -hmm. veterans organizations. One is America's Mighty Warriors, okay, which is actually based here in uh, in Arizona. Hmm. Okay, it's uh, operated by Debbie Lee. Debbie's son was the first Navy SEAL killed in Iraq, hmm. so it, it's for families of of. Uh, of uh, military that sure. have been killed yeah and then uh vfw veterans of foreign wars we think it's really obviously very important to give back to mm -hmm. to organizations and as we grow hopefully our mm -hmm. list of of uh organizations that we can help support well, and give back to will grow as well fox news is the largest cable on the network right to get from obscurity in a small shop in scottsdale yeah right i'm sorry i'm just i got to go back to that you know how did that happen we had someone someone called them and said, "Hey, there's this, this the the tagline on it is Arizona firm won't invest in Iran. Arizona firm doesn't invest in Iran." So there was mm -hmm. it was about two years, two little over two years ago, the first Fox interview, and um, you know there was obviously tensions going on with Iran as there always mm -hmm. are, and and they thought that you know look this is the first we've heard of it. We need to. We need to uh, get this guy on, which is great. Mm -hmm. it, it's you know it's interesting though. It's actually not the first they've heard of it because you mentioned earlier mm -hmm. that 38 states have passed or pending legislation. Mm -hmm. See, that's that's another component to it. We're we're actually in concert with a lot of the good policy mm -hmm. here in here in America. Um, so you know they they do a divestment mm -hmm. story, and what we had to do was kind of educate them and help them to understand that that uh, we're not only divestment. We we take that a step further to a coordinated effort to bring financial pressure 
to these uh, companies that are doing business with state sponsors of terror. Well, when I but when I think about Christian Broadcast Networks, Christian, another one. Well, CBN. CBN is huge. It's in, in in the conservative Christian network. It's the biggest in the in the. I think it's the biggest in the world now. Yeah. And they have a huge following, and very much so pro American. That that block of pro viewers are very pro American. Absolutely. So, in fact, if you're picking this up right now from C, uh, CBN, you're you're hearing us tell it. We're telling a story that Fox News put on there, and then you you started appearing in some international. Uh, publications like the Jerusalem Post. Right. I mean, this is the kind of thing that when you have something that's distinctive for your practice and marketable, and the biggest issue, newsworthy, yeah. right? You can go from obscurity in a small shop in Scottsdale and all of a sudden, man, you're a media guy. Yeah. You're, you're getting media press. Well, and the best thing too is when I talk to other advisors about this, and you know, they, they wonder, well, how, how will it play? How will my clients react? And the answer is, I can't think of a topic. Uh, I can't think of a, an introduction you could have to a, a prospect or, or someone you don't mm -hmm. know um, that will generate more conversations than this. Mm -hmm. We can be in a room with 100 people and you can talk about all your various specialties and you're gonna get to talk to you know, 10, sure. 12, 15, however many you do. I get 99 out of 100 conversations. Okay, what do you do? Well, we help our clients fight terrorism through their investment portfolios, through terror-free investing. What's that? No one's heard of it, mm -hmm. and it's so intriguing, it gets people to talk to us, and that leads to other conversations mm -hmm. for that, that relate to their entire financial well-being. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no one on my mind, Mark, you have cut out and carved out for yourself a really niche area to play in. And when I think about that, that's our, always our goal. We're trying to niche ourselves out. If you're interested in this, you just call me at 1-800-290-7226. We'll make you connected with Mark. Or you can just write me. I'm the biz at brokersalliance.com. And you can watch this show and all our shows at www.brokersalliance.com right after the you're break. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Companies in our business are always touting service, products, and underwriting. And we do that too. But here's the difference. Now enter the world of the elite producer with a value package that cuts us out of the pack, a BD that approves social media marketing of non-FINRA products and doesn't take an override. With the best competition desk in the industry, and for our loyal producers, a true group health plan. No one offers that. Brokers Alliance does. Well, welcome back to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm your host, Steve Savano, with Mark Langerman. We're talking about tariff-free investment. And I have to say, when I think about this concept, because we've been doing it all week long, right. and we're going to do some more tomorrow, we're talking about the media impact on this, and it's really been such a place where you think, well, who cares about this? Well, Fox News on a national level cares. They've asked you twice on. You were on their local channel here in Phoenix and several other local channels as well. And we remarked just before the close of the last segment, CBN, the Christian Broadcasting Network, one of the largest conservative networks in the world. And of course, they are very pro-American, very patriotic, and they are totally on board with this thinking. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, we, totally on we've board. We've had two live interviews with them and one one nice article, mm -hmm. and we're working on more, hopefully. Well, I th and I don't see why not because it's becoming. <coughs> and remember, we talked about this earlier in the week. There are a lot of people that are into the green funds, and right. I think that's great. Some people are into the viceless funds: no tobacco, no alcohol, no no gambling in my portfolio, right. please. There are people who say I only play with corporations whose boards contain at least 50% women or right. more. I mean, there's all kinds of ways to niche, and but we've taken something that at first sounds like a niche market or parse, but this is way bigger than a small segment here. I believe so. And what I liked about what you said was, that was the lead in. I mean, you're sitting there at a, at a kind of a warm, I, I, last time I went, to, I went to a client appreciation where the clients brought other clients, right. and there would be about maybe, maybe 30 or 40 people drinking wine and eating cheese. I don't know if that's a good play or not. Right. But my point was that they only talked about a few things. When you go to events like this, when you do, you were saying, man, people want to hear about oh, this. Oh, they want to hear about it. It, 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 uh, it Because it covers all the juicy mm -hmm. parts of our life. It covers money, politics, you know, uh, intrigue, uh, things along those lines. So, it, it, but, but really, more importantly, it hits at mm -hmm. the core. 
Oh, yeah. You know, especially when you're talking to military families or just really anybody, people that are from the Midwest. You know, it's interesting. I say that but because that's who you'd think the natural mm -hmm. market would be. But this is very nonpartisan. I mean, I've, I've talked to U.S. senators, U.S. Mm -hmm. congressmen on both sides of the aisle, both Democrat mm -hmm. and Republican, not just from Arizona, but throughout the country about it. Mm -hmm. I've, I've had conversations with ambassadors to foreign countries about this concept. Mm -hmm. and, and, and none of this would not have happened if you, didn't, you weren't into this niche market. Right, yeah. I mean, think about it. You I mean, you're floating with the Israeli ambassador ambassadors from Europe, and you have met many U.S. congressmen, not only the ones that are from oh, our area yeah, in Arizona, throughout the country, yeah. but throughout the country, both Democratic and Republican. Absolutely. Really, it's been, everybody sees this. Well, it's, it's again, it's a nonpartisan issue. Mm -hmm. It has to do with patriot. It, again, I get back to a simple, you know, mm -hmm. uh, right and wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, why are, why are we supporting the people who are trying to, to kill us? And, and right. these, comp these corporations, we've seen it time and time again, they have no conscience, mm -hmm. okay? And, and that's what we're doing. We're holding them accountable. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking as an investor now, and I have, a, I have my own retirement, and I started looking at this two weeks ago, as I said, at the front end of this week. I started looking through every single mutual fund, every single investment equity, indexing uh, with insurance products. I've looked at every single one of these issues saying, what's in there? And I was surprised, and I went through one of our emerging markets that we use in indexing, and I could not believe how many countries were involved in that index and showed up on the terrorist list. Yeah. See, that, that blew my mind. That's... I, I was completely stunned. So I said, I'm pulling that, I'm not gonna use that indice when my annual review comes around. Yeah, good for you. See, so what, this is where we have some control here. It's our money, it's our retirement, and we have an ability to do this. Now, the thing I like about this segment that we're talking about all the, uh, for today is, the media impact that this has drawn for your practice. I mean, where everybody would want to have the kind of press and the media that you've had on this issue. And I know that's not why you did it, but it comes with the territory sometimes, and this has changed the way people view you. Everybody, and I don't mean to demean yeah. asset allocators at large, right. but there's a ton of them here in our area. We have, I mean, the population of FINRA licensed or RIAs that do asset management, I mean, there, there might be five or 6,000 in the state of Arizona, and right. who knows in the big states like California and New York. Sure. So when I'm looking at how do, I, how do I go from obscurity, how can clients know what I'm doing, I think this is one of the most hottest marketing media I've ever heard. Again, I know that's not why you did it, but wow, it's happened. We had, we had on that first Fox uh, segment, we had, uh, I think it, it's been a couple of years, but I think it was close to 10,000 hits on our website that Sunday morning. <laughs> I mean, that's that, you know, we can't mm -hmm. get traffic there. Uh, like you can't get tra organic traffic. You like couldn't that. buy that kind yeah, of price. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But but more importantly, as now that the fund is out there mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, we start with our friends, our inner mm -hmm. circle. Right. And we talk to them about mm -hmm. it and then and then branch out. And, you know, so I've I've known some folks that for years I've been telling we're going to have a fund. We're going to have a fund eventually. So the funds out there and they're talking to their clients about it. They're getting the same reactions we are. And I think from a, a business practice building standpoint, it's, you know, we're always, you said it, you said it throughout all the days. I mean, we want to bring unique, mm -hmm. meaningful ideas right. to our clients, okay? And that's one of the other things that this helps us to do. It just, it opens a door to an area that most people, they're not aware of it. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're in the role of educator. We're helping to educate them that here's an issue that you may not have known about. And then we're also able to provide a solution through the Patriot Fund. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking in your wildest <coughs> dreams, did you ever think you'd be at the front end of creating a fund? No, no, not at all. I mean, I had a good practice. I've been in the business almost 28 years. But I walked out of that, I walked out of that, uh, those conferences that day with my client. And, and we basically said, he looked at me and said, you know what? I got to put my money where my mouth is. I mean, this actually happened. Right. I can't script it. Wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, that's why we're talking about it today because I want us to have an impact on our client and their lifestyle and the portfolio. And remember, you can watch this show and all our show at www.brokersalliance.com. As soon as you come on our homepage, just click the on demand button. That's the buzz on this for today. You've been in the zone, the business insurance zone. The biz is brought to you by Brokers Alliance, a national leader in insurance products, support services, and educational workshops. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, 
disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use.